I am Steven Abriani. I am 22 years old and my major is film production. In the video that you're watching, I feel like it's an impression of the relationship between the graffiti artists and the sort of people cleaning the streets. That sort of relationship and at the same time it's just sort of a picture of what the art and graffiti is like in Santiago how it's a problem but at the same time you know maybe it's necessary for sort of the political activism I mean it's still like the embers showing for like a larger fire that's sort of growing underneath everything um, so I think it's important to express I liked art Santiago had a lot of graffiti, had a lot of art everywhere. Every morning I woke up and saw a new piece of art, and I thought that was so cool. Everywhere I traveled, there was art. So it made my job really easy to cover like all these different areas, because there was art literally everywhere. Um, the only hard part of my end was obviously with the language, but also just like the specific way I wanted to shoot it. Um, but that's all up for interpretation of what you think is actually a good way to shoot graffiti. But I actually chose to do the motion because I think that kind of went along with sort of escapist and strength that Santiago art was sort of pushing towards. I wanted to make it a visual experience and not simply just like a, a regular document. The street art in Chile gained a lot of influence from American street art, especially in the 1970s, 80s, Brooklyn. Um, graffiti era, I mean that was just, that was the beginning of it all for a lot of people, tagging trains, and a lot of these guys were just like obsessed with it, and all their graffiti is influenced by New York, Brooklyn based graffiti. I think every graffiti writer really has his own style, I mean I think that's important for any artist, you know, and obviously you'll, you'll be influenced by where you come from, but with our digital age, it's interesting the way art is jumping across the water. Back in the day, you'd sort of be secluded to your own country, your own influences. You know, I'm influenced by this guy across town and stuff like that. I heard one guy describe it as tattooing the city, just sort of like putting his name on, you know, a physical structure so other people can see it, but at the same time, other graffiti artists know that tag and they can go across the town and they can have like a specific language that other people may not understand which I, I also thought was pretty interesting, like so long as you know how to read the language, you can actually understand who's been there, what he's trying to say for this and that. Now everyone's influenced by everyone, so I don't know if it's, it's so different, but Americans, I mean anyone can relate to a time in their lives where they struggled. I think that's the beauty of people and beauty of stories. It, it comes down to like whether you feel grateful that you're able to express it. And I think Santiago really got that and that's why they care about the art so much because they know what it's like not to have it. Santiago is so cool in so many different ways because it's not even just like graffiti art, it's like the people on the street, they all had some sort of expression that they were going towards. You know, they were either singing a song, doing a dance, doing some like mind performance. Everybody was a performer and if you weren't a performer and you sort of like wanted to live that life, you were an artist. It was almost like everyone we talked to knew somebody who did graffiti. So if that was the case, then you just sort of ask them about it, see if they get in contact with you, and they would just be like, yeah, I do art, I do tagging, I mean, it's all good. I mean, if you don't have like a job where you could get in trouble with it, the idea of it being illegal really isn't that big of a deal. I, I mean, art can be anything, can be so many different things to so many different people. But I mean, for me, I think just the way images and music and story all sort of connect together is the art that documentary can be. There's people out there who'd be like, no, this is art, this is art, and I don't know. I feel like art could be just the way you wear your jeans one day. Like the way you wear your hat, or maybe not. I mean, all of that could be considered art or artistic expressions.